Welcome to the show. It's lovely to touch base with you. How are you today? I'm good. You're good? Yes. So today we're filming on a Sunday. What's what's a normal Sunday for you? Normal Sunday for me is um chilling with my family. Mm hmm I've Got three kids. How old are your kids? And my first daughter, she's gonna be um twelve this month. Okay. Yeah. No, actually thirteen, so thirteen, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thirteen. My second daughter is seven. Mm hmm Next month is her birthday as well. Nice. And my son is four. So they listen to your music? Definitely. Yeah? yeah. They dance, so they, are yeah. they into it, yeah? yeah. Okay, nice. Um, so that's a normal Sunday to you, for you. Obviously today mm -hmm. you did a live in the lab at Base Lab Studios. How did that go? It was great. It was, yeah. ex it was a good experience. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was, I love it. What was the process of making your live in the lab? Yeah, music is quite easy for me you know mm -hmm. so i just it's just other vibes it's all the vibes and just do it mm -hmm. yeah nice when do you know when that's released or i'm not sure yet not sure yeah but very soon though. okay nice okay so this is your first interview yeah. how are you feeling about it comfortable yeah 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 good <laughs> yeah. um so i want to take your fans and all the viewers back to the beginning mm -hmm. um how did you come across or decide on the name resonate for yourself well, I used to go by a name of um, Ben Flex. Okay. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of people called Flex. Mm -hmm. A lot of people got young behind the name as well. And obviously, I'm not going to stay young forever. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, I have to have a name what's going to connect it with people. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's why it's a resonate. Mm -hmm. you can right now, we resonate. Resonate. So, it's We're a play on word with the yeah. resonate. I like yeah. it. Um, so, how old are you now? <laughs> you, don't have, you don't have to ask, I just want to ask. I'm in my 30s. 30s, okay, nice. Early um, 30s. So, how long have you been making music for? Since, from, I said a, a young age, but professional mm -hmm. from 2009. 2009, okay, yeah. nice. And what was it that led you into music? Did you study music, music at school? Did you have people around you, like family, friends that were doing my, it? My dad actually was a, he, well, he's still his. Mm -hmm. um, he played a song. Okay, nice. He used to play a song in St. Thomas mm -hmm. um, called Mela Instruction. Okay. Yeah, so I've just been around my dad and he played music and obviously I resonate to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he see come back resonate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just grew up in music, just my house always got music playing mm, in so it. So just like natural oh, yeah, to you. Yeah, natural so thing. you said that was that was your dad in St Thomas and yeah. you did you used to live in St Thomas? Were you born there? No, I was born in St Thomas mm -hmm. where I was in Kingston. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how long were you there for? When did you come here? Well I came here when I was fourteen. Okay. Yeah. And well I go back and forth. Mm hmm Yeah. What's your preference? England is okay, but you know Jamaica got the vibes. Yeah, that's where yeah. your heart's at. Yeah. yeah. So, when was the last time you went? Um, before the pandemic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And do you make music out there? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. The last, the big, the biggest event we done in Jamaica was Sting. Okay. Sting 2015. Mm -hmm. That was a good experience, but at the same time, nervous performing in, what, six, six, six thousand people? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, that was a big one. Do you feel like dancehall or your music in particular is received better out there than here? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. People over think. here, over here, <clears throat> this is my opinion. Mm -hmm. Over here, there's not really a strong um, foundation or a platform mm. for nowadays dancehall. Mm. Reggae is is there, but well, obviously I don't really do reggae music. Mm -hmm. I do the the more street dancehall mm. for the street representing. Jamaica Street to England, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for the more young people vibes, mm. yeah, those type of music I do. So, what do you think it is that we need over here? Is it more artists or like? More no, the artism is here, and it just a better platform and more highlights. Mm. Yeah, it's like stronger culture. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, it, it's here enough, but like I said, it's not highlight enough. Mm. Yeah. Get you. So for you, like, what? Where would you want to? Like in the UK, mm. what would you want to do? Or where would you want to hear your music to think? Oh, I'm actually creating that. 
Uh, um, more more ra- uh, ma- mainstream radio. Mm. Yeah, because like I said, I make my songs them is like dan- it's dancehall, yeah, but it's not ratchet dancehall mm. like it's a bit cleaner. Uh, yeah, it's more yeah. cleaner, you understand? So it what I do I merge the sound together. Mm-hmm. But I you it's the same dancehall but I merge so you know like obviously it's a drill going on right now. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so I mil- I mix the drill with the dancehall. You understand? But I keep it more dance style. But mm. you can hear a little bit of Yeah, so that's where like the UK vibes. Yeah, the UK there. vibes, you understand? Yeah. yeah, and I feel it. So growing up, like in terms of dance or who did you listen to? Who's influenced you? Well, Beanie Man is my favourite mm. artist. Yeah. Yeah, Beanie Man. I, Have you like watched him live or anything? Yeah, yeah. I watched I always watch from Always. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, is that someone yeah. you wanna like perform with one day? Yeah. Is that on the list? Well actually I met him before already. Mm-hmm. Yeah, nice. I met him before already. But I haven't performed on stage with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um do you collaborate with a lot of other artists? Yeah, um I don't know if you know a guy called Savage in Jamaica. He's mm, no, like, singing a song called Kulu Kulu. Okay. Yeah, is he out there right now? Yeah. yeah. I done a song with him called mm-hmm. Top Shelf in like probably 2015, early mm-hmm. 2015. That went good in Jamaica. Then I done some work with Style G. Oh nice, yeah. Been there with him as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I done some work with him. Great experience as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And are you quite, when it comes to like networking and stuff, do you reach out to other artists or are you the, art, the artist that sort of just like kind of waits for opportunity to come? What are you like? No, I reach out to other artists, you know, but you know, sometimes people is in their ego. Mm. It? You see, ego and ego and ignorance, mm-hmm. it's like they're two best friends. Yeah, people are really competitive. <laughs> yeah, they're and they're like, they're like, they, because I reach, I'm not going to call any name, but I reach out to somebody before already mm-hmm. about. Cause I know them. Um, they um manage Jada King. Okay, yeah, I don't yeah. know if you know about Jada King. Mm-hmm. And I said, can I make a um do a collab with her? Mm-hmm. And he's like, he's like, she's gonna look at your views then before. Mm, so like superficial. That. It's all about yeah. the numbers. Mm-hmm. People don't really care They're about not listening talent. To the talent and, don't care yeah. about talent. It's all about views nowadays, and I think that's wrong. Mm-hmm. I and agree. It's, wrong. it's totally wrong. Mm. Mm-hmm. So for you yourself, are you independent or do you have like a team working with you? No, I'm, I'm just doing everything off my own yeah. at the moment. Okay. Just, yeah. So, because I usually think that that could be something which like impacts views when people obviously when you have a big marketing team, maybe mm-hmm. you've got a label, that's obviously going to push the exposure. Mm-hmm. Um, for you, what do you think you need to do yourself to like get to the next level in music? You just get more exposure because mm-hmm. I have the songs in my ready mm-hmm. you understand so it's just getting more exposure mm. the more exposure I get is the more better I get even by writing music because I might think yeah this music is good mm. but when I meet m- more people in the industry they will show me a different way so I can mm. even write more get different producers to give me different sounds and all these things so can make my um what you call it now my craft mm. or my um what's the word i'm looking for now my art mm-hmm. it's like an art mm-hmm. isn't it yeah so if you give me the more it's like a challenge isn't it yeah, Music, yeah. yeah. So, just, so yeah, yeah for you it's just like working with more like different people yeah. giving you yeah. more feedback and stuff like that yeah that's nice yeah. um so what as an artist um, what advice would you give to new artists? Is there anything in your journey which you think you would have changed or if you could go back in time, no, improve? I don't, I, don't, I don't really regret nothing in mm-hmm. life. You, know? you understand what meant to be, meant to be. Mm-hmm. You understand? I'm, I'm there and now I'm here. So all I have to say for young artists or people coming up in the business, just believe in yourself. Just keep on working hard and just don't, don't make no one um, kill your dream. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. Right, so you said like you're independent and you do everything. So even like, for example, your latest single is Fresh, yeah. right? So did you plan the video? What yeah, was the I, process? I, 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 that was straight, a bit stressful, yeah. you know? Yeah, that, that's the next thing where I need to get. I need to get a team. Mm. But it's very hard to get a team because mm-hmm. everybody need money in it. Mm. Yeah, everybody need money. And the money what they charge you nowadays, it's not like I'm making music money money from the music. Mm. Everything I work and put it back into the music. Mm. You understand? So it's not 
one, two, three. Yeah, you need people like to see the vision and yeah. the long term goal. Yeah. yeah, no, I get it. So, in terms of like the concept for the video, do you want to just like describe it a bit for people who haven't seen it yet? Yeah, well, the video was like a. Um, I don't know if you watch. There was an old school comedy movie called Grady Bunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which with the line with you. It's like a box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what I done, I took an idea from that. And then I put it into the video as well. So when I'm saying fresh, it's like very different pictures was changing. So I was changing. Mm -hmm. You understand? So basically the song is about, you know, just holding up vibes and when you come out of like you put on your clothes yeah. and all this thing, you're just fresh, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was a, it was a summer. Yeah, lighthearted. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. So what have you got planned next in music? Are you well, I have uh, music, I've got countless of music, countless yeah. of music. Yeah, I got some stuff coming up very soon. Some collab, some singles. Mm -hmm. You have to just stay tuned and watch. Yeah. Nice. Um, and what's your what are you planning for your next video? Have you got like a concept? I ain't got, no, I ain't got, no, I ain't got no, 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 no clue yet. I got no idea, but I know I got singles, but I just don't have any ideas mm -hmm. yet. But I'm planning to release some singles probably next year. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm not putting out nothing. I don't think I'm putting out nothing this year. Okay, fair enough. I already finished. Are you, as an art artist, are you quite critical of yourself? Like when you're yeah, going to release music? I'm very passionate about my music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very passionate. So I will listen. But sometimes it's not about me, in it? It's mm -hmm. about the people. So whatever the people them like, mm -hmm. I work with that. Mm -hmm. Nice. So do you feel like, in terms of like the validation, as we were talking about like the views and stuff like that, have you ever gone through this sort of like over-caring what people think? How have you dealt with that? Sometimes. Sometimes. But I, I learn not to care. Not really, not to care. I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But from one side, look at it and thinking... It's just opinion. Mm. Don't take it too hard. You understand? It's just, just people's opinion, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not really the end of the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Whatever I feel, I just work with it. Because mm -hmm. music works out with feelings, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like your music has evolved over time? Definitely. Before, back in the days, when the face is not like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from. Because what I do, I, what I do is a secret. It's like. I listen to what's going on now and I and I take tips. Mm, adapt it a bit. Yeah. So you mm. always upgrade your sound. You don't stay in that one sound down there. You have to upgrade every mm. time. So you know so I then boom you sound like that. Okay, then I'm gonna take a little piece from that, take a little piece from that, merge it together and make it be me though. Makes sense. So you don't wanna copy people, but you just hear the sound, it's yeah. like chicken. Mm -hmm. Everyone eat chicken but when you go to a, a, a Jamaican restaurant mm -hmm. and go to KFC it's a still chicken but it tastes different mm -hmm. so that's what I do so I cook the same chicken mm -hmm. same music but my way is so different yeah. switch up the thing yeah. so okay so that's about like you said your music changed a bit what about you as a person you as an artist Me? how would you say you've changed like say within like the last 10 years actually let's take it even before that like what was your upbringing like what were, you, what were you like as a kid? Well, I grew up rough, you know, mm -hmm. grimy. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> yeah, I grew up rough. I grew, I grew. I was like, grew from Jamaica. My mom migrated to um, America when I was young. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I grew with my grand. Okay. Yeah, so R.I.P. to her, she passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um. In school there and then you know in sometimes you go to school sometimes you don't go to mm -hmm. school so you know like I just it's 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 a it's a it's a very rough place I'm coming from to mm -hmm. where I am now you understand go to a whole heap of stuff even in England as well mm -hmm. yeah but music music when I was one of my um is it therapy therapy yeah, yeah I was gonna say that yeah. yeah so I just do music and you know try to get overcome certain stuff mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Would you like recommend music for your children? Are they interested in it? Well, I see my son 
you listen because I have a song called Daddy Love. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I make a song specially for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you always listen to that song. But is it like, for example, what do you think about the music industry in itself? Is that something you would want for your children? But it's up to them, isn't it? I'm not going to force them to do it. Mm. So if, if he come to me and he said, Dad, I want to do music from once it makes sense, mm. I'll support him. Because that's what I don't like about parents. Because even my dad tried to do that to me, you know? Mm -hmm. He was telling me, oh, music wasn't, oh, you need to go get a job, da 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 da. Mm. But you don't, you can't see the bigger picture. That's your dream to get a job. My dream is to mm -hmm. do music. You understand? So, whatever my kids want to do, from once it makes sense and it's not going to put them into danger, mm -hmm. I support them full and trip. Mm -hmm. mm. So, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Well, hopefully alive. First. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Hopefully alive first, you know, because without life you yeah. can't do nothing. Mm -hmm. So, see myself alive, like I said, and just keep on making good music for the mm. people. And you said alive, and I just asked you like, it's a bit of a. I know like fans like to know the personal like day to day lifestyle. Like, are you into health and wellness and stuff like that? What's your like routine like? Yeah, I do a little bit of exercise there and yeah. then. What about eating? Yeah, what I mean, eating? I eat healthy. Are you mm. vegan or anything like that? Not What's really, your... I just the tradition Jamaican yeah. style, you know, but I eat healthy. I don't really mess around with a bag of junk food, you know. Mm, can you cook? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I love cooking. I love cooking. <laughs> nice. I love cooking. Nice. Yeah, definitely cooking. Okay, yeah. so you said health, like you want to see yourself alive and healthy. Mm. What was the other things? Well, um, yeah, making good songs for the people mm -hmm. um, and hopefully have a name. Because... Mm. No make sense you're doing music and you don't no one don't know who are you. Mm -hmm. You understand? It's for the people to resonate yeah, with. Yeah, resonate. And so when somebody say, Do you know that guy can't resonate? Yeah, 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 I mean, know that guy that yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I it's about also it. name, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I definitely see it. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're gonna leave it there today. Thank you so much for coming along. I'm looking forward to your live in the lab. Do you wanna just tell the fans where they can find you? Yeah, you can socials? find me and Instagram because I'm only over the Instagram at mm. Resonate Gram and the Resonate spelling is R E S O N eight. The number eight gram. You know if you spell gram, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much.